Now, next, we're going to move on to some coronavirus news from Britain. English hospitals are under pressure again. They're now seeing the highest daily tally of COVID admissions there since early June. It's right on the heels, of course, of the revelation that the UK's contact tracing app left off thousands of cases. This new spike comes as COVID confusion in the British government seems to be continuing as well. RT Shadi Edwards Dashti reports. And considering the UK government's response to COVID-19, brilliant job probably wouldn't be the words on the tips of most people's tongues. Over the course of the year, the UK has seen thousands of people dying in care homes, test and tracing deadlines set and missed, the UK topping the death toll across Europe, plus, of course, Britain being on the verge of a round two. And while most people think the government's response needs to be completely written off, it seems as though not everyone agrees it's been a failure. I think it will be like the Olympics. That's when it's all over and we look back and reflect. We will actually be extremely proud of ourselves. Some people might think a wooden spoon is more appropriate than a shiny medal, especially considering the latest news that 16,000 positive tests for COVID-19 have been lost, meaning that super spreaders are blindly unaware they're still spreading. Thousands of people blissfully unaware they've been exposed to COVID, potentially spreading this deadly virus at a time when hospital admissions are increasing and we're in the second wave. Blunder after blunder, critics say the government's not learning from its mistakes. But as the country hurtles towards a second wave of the virus, COVID confusion is still lingering in the air, with mixed messages coming from those in power. It's six in, in, in a home or six in, in hospitality, but uh, as I understand it, not six outside. Apologies, I misspoke today. In the northeast, new rules mean you cannot meet people from different households and social settings indoors, including in pubs, restaurants and your home. You should also avoid socialising with other households outside. Go to work, but stay at home. Eat out to help out, but don't socialise. Kickstart the economy, but stay in your bubble. It's no wonder the country is confused, especially considering the man telling the UK what to do is accused of being a tad confused too. One of the major problems is widespread confusion about the local restrictions. People feel very let down and very frustrated and very forgotten. Can we pin all the blame on Boris Johnson? After all, these are unprecedented times, fighting a battle that no Prime Minister has ever fought before. And after months of economic paralysis, Boris Johnson began to unlock the lockdown, even though parts of the UK were still plagued with the virus. And so, the North-South divide found its latest partition. The timing of the lifting of national lockdown was London-centric. Please remember this the next time you see politicians pointing fingers at our people. On the eve of a second wave, many might think the government would know what it was doing by now, especially considering it's had around six months to prepare. But when clarity has been replaced with confusion, can the government really expect people to follow the rules when it doesn't seem to know them itself? Shadia Edwards Dashti, RT, London. It's 12.12 Moscow time. That's the picture in London, the picture in Paris, France. Well, it's suburbs there, uh, really experiencing a high rate of COVID-19 positives, particularly in the migrant shelters. It's really high. Winter's coming. Aid groups now urging the government to provide the most vulnerable with help. We're talking about it after the break.